Hi guys, welcome! Take some time to subscribe and click on the notification bell icon to see our future content as soon as it's uploaded. Give us a like and enjoy the video! Hello guys! Welcome to a new sandbox video. Today we are unboxing a piece of peripheral that's on a budget side. It's a gaming headset, more specifically a Ziva gaming headset by Trust. So without the further ado, let's jump in. As you all know by now, we are starting off with the packaging. The box is a usual cardboard affair with a glossy finish. So the front side has a big image of the headset with the branding and a few features. Here you can see the same features with the name of the headset. Again, they really went all out with the design on this one. Backside is a bit more interesting and gives us some more insight on what we get inside of the box and some gaming, comfortable and so on text in a ton of languages. Interesting part is this QR code in case you want to learn more about this product. A side view of the headset is here, it's not looking bad, at least not on the photo. Top side has nothing special on besides the name, and the bottom portion is nothing to write home about either. Let's unbox this thing. And for that we are going to use our trusty knife. To open up the box we have to cut through two plastic seals. Opening the box reveals the headset and the included accessories. Here you can see nothing else is in, so let's move on. First we are going to check out the included documentation. And the first part of it is this basic user guide, showing us how to assemble the headset and the included cable, as well how to connect the headset to the PC. Next in line is a leaflet containing some legal information like warranty information and stuff like that, in a bunch of languages. We're not going to linger too much here, so let's move on to the next item. And here you can see an extending split cable allowing you to connect the headset to the PC. And giving you the ability to use the headphone and the microphone portion of the headset. The cable is made out of some rubbery filling material. And here we are. Finally, we can check out the main attraction of the video. The headset itself. The headset is pretty lightweight, but very flexible. And it does it without any squeaking or crackling. So far, so good. The band is wrapped in some leather-like material, under which is a thin layer of foam. The foam is too thin, in our opinion, as you can feel the plastic band under the fingers while squeezing it. As we said earlier, the headset is very flexible, so it shouldn't break easily if you use it as intended. The ear cups are wrapped with the same leather-like material, like the band, but under it there is a significantly bigger amount of padding, so they should be comfortable enough for a budget set. The size can be adjusted by sliding both sides up or down, but this feels pretty cheap, as the entire assembly is plastic, but at least the adjustments stay in place. The left ear cup has a built-in volume wheel, which is nice, and it feels ok to use it. The wheel doesn't have any movement to the sides, and it feels solid, but it would be a nice addition if it was a little bit bigger. On the left side there is also a foldable microphone. It's not a flexible kind, so it's not very adjustable in terms of getting it closer to the mouth. Let's return the headset to the lowest position and check out the included cable. The cable is tied up by the cable tie. The cable is about 6 feet or 1.8 meters long and it's wrapped in a rubber material. It terminates with a 3.5 mm plug that can be plugged directly to the PC or in this included cable extension, giving you the ability to use a microphone by plugging it in the microphone jack on the motherboard. Let's check everything that comes included once more. If you liked the video, toss us a like, share the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
Comment down below what gaming headset do you use. See ya in the next one. Zenbox out.